always say this, that if you are enjoying it like me, just like our page and subscribe to our YouTube channel, T2I TV UK. So we were talking about the mental barriers yes. in relation to this vision that you are embarking on. And you were on the second one. So if yes. you continue from there. So I will just add some few of the other mental barriers, such as many people think they don't have enough education, but I think they don't really understand the concept of edu education. Because if you look at most of the most successful people in this world, some of them were not really highly academically educated, but they made very um, indelible impact on the surface of this planet. And I think our problem is that people confuse education with going to school. And that is not, these are two different things. Education is actually the ability to develop one's mind the ability to really um, use one's uh, um, skills and talents to really achieve what he wants in a very meaningful way. And most, as I said, most of the people who really formed the foundation of education, for instance, were not educated. People like Socrates and um, Aristotle, people like, even, even, let me even use Ghanaian examples. People like um, Menstan Utebel, People like Kwame Despite, people like um, Jacob Zuma from South Africa, who was a former president of South Africa. He never went to school, even primary one, but he is very highly educated. So what am I trying to say? Napoleon Hill once said, the one who stops learning merely because he has finished or he has completed school is hopelessly doomed to mediocrity, no matter what may be his calling. So I always want to tell people that look, you can learn. Personal development or self-development is one of the greatest things that will help anyone to succeed. And for me, I have always been learning. I have always been putting up a lot. And I can say that what I have learned on my own has helped me to succeed far more than what I ever learned in school. So what I want to encourage people is that those who think they don't have enough education may be educated, but they have the wrong education. And they have the right to be educated in whatever way they want, because there is self-education. They can learn, they can read through books, they can attend seminars. There are a lot of ways to learn. The other mental barriers are talent. People think they don't have talent, but most of the people who think they don't have talent actually have talent, but they haven't developed it. And there is a saying that um, hard work defeats talent when talent refuses to work hard. Mm. People have the talent, but they don't want to work hard. Mm. So, um, they, they, their talent will be dead because nobody will ever know what nobody succeed by merely having talent by by dint of hard work then um lastly people also think that maybe they are dis disabled and that doesn't help them to succeed and i am saying that physical disability that doesn't really affect a person's brain and faculty of reasoning cannot really stop a person from achieving his purpose in life why do i say this an example is um, Natalie Dutoit, who was a South African swimmer. She started swimming early. She had an accident at the age of 14, broke one of her legs, and never gave up. She's, uh, she never gave up. She, did, she was determined to become, to get to the Olympics. And I tell you, she was even, she, was, she became the first person to swim at the Olympics and to even compete with able bodies and was even able to win. If somebody who had only one leg could compete with people who have two legs and could win in a competition, that is something very great. Then Franklin D. Roosevelt, the former um, American president who has been run consistently as one of the best presidents ever, was disabled. She was she had polio and she could even she was sitting on a wheelchair and could even defeat an incumbent president, lifted America from the Great Depression and was able to help America to become a world superpower, exerting a significant amount of influence around the globe. So I want to just say that anyone can make it, no matter the condition. Mm -hmm. Helen Keller said that um, the only thing that is worse than being blind is having vision, having eyes, but no vision. Mm -hmm. And I have said that the worst disability is not physical disability, but physical, dis physical ability with no vision. Mm -hmm. So people have physical ability, they have the eyes, but they have no vision. That is why we have disabled people who are able to achieve far greater. 
So that is the few mental barriers I have encountered. And I was able to break them in my own way. And through the change of mind, it has really helped me a lot. Thank you.